All right, guys, welcome to the Morning Brew. Grab a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. We're going to chat a little bit about more like girly topics. I know, I love and you know this what, Kristen, yes. it's no secret we all go through a down, down times in our lives. Mm -hmm. You know, we feel like oh, everything yeah. is falling apart. You lose a loved one, the love relationship isn't going well, maybe you lose your job. But mm -hmm. a recent study says okay. that keeping an optimistic, you know, view of things will help you get out of that rut. And when I read Makes this sense. story, I thought about someone like um, like my mother. Okay. She's been through cancer. She's yeah. been through so many things. And she's always so positive. Mm -hmm. And I go, how do you do it? And she goes, that's why I'm still alive. I'm, I'm not surprised. I actually had a good, good friend in college mm -hmm. who was completely 100% healthy. One day his stomach hurt and he got diagnosed uh -huh. with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Mm -hmm. They gave him 15 days to live. And he was one of those people that had the most positive, yes. outgoing attitudes. He was still smiling and laughing in the hospital and knock on wood to this day, I get chills. He's 10 years in remission. So you see what I mean? It is yeah. so much about the attitude. Because I think it's it's too, when you have a bad attitude, like that stress causes sickness. It right. causes I bad things I feel like there's an happen. energy to that. When you have Absolutely. a bad attitude, I mean, things get worse and worse and worse. Like mm -hmm. they gave my mom, I think it was, uh, they gave her a year and a half, two years, wow. and it's been almost 10 years uh, uh, so since that. And because she's so positive, she's always dancing and having a good yep, time. Yep. So if you're having a down moment in your life, because we all have them, especially on a Monday, I understand. Agreed. Keep a positive outlook. Studies say that, you know, you'll you'll actually, you know, get through, get mm -hmm. through it faster and even better, so. And you know, speaking of kind of having a positive attitude, one thing that we're all guilty of is we're so busy in this lifetime and it's really hard for us to really block mm. some time out for ourselves. And speaking of, do you guys ever feel like your day kind of looks like this? <laughs> Oh goodness, oh we're God, just laughing. Kristen. Literally, that's us every morning. We get here us. at 1 a.m. and it's <laughs> That is us. Yes. <laughs> so there's a couple of tips to kind of combat all of this. Number one, you have to make girl. sure that downtime is crucial. You have to schedule it in. We talk about that. Exactly. Uh, it's like you schedule meetings, you schedule this and that, hair appointments. Why not schedule time to actually take care of yourself? Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you don't do it. Um, next up, find a passion. That's really, really important. It's easier if you have a hobby to be able to have that downtime. Yes, you yes. Know, if you, I know you walk around the lake a lot. I yeah. like to do that too. Just anything that you can do that you actually enjoy doing, force but yourself schedule to do it. it. It's very important mm -hmm. to schedule it. Make it a priority. Exactly. Another tip is also, I do this every night. I try to uh, power down. You know, it's like I find myself in bed sometimes like checking Facebook and Instagram before I go to sleep, but it's so much better. Like even if you read a book or just listen, listen to some like inspirational music, mm -hmm. Uh, just disconnect because our faces are always in the screens 24-7. Oh my gosh, seven. I know. So I sleep with my phone, the girl. I know, I know you do. Sleep with my you phone. You have it out. So definitely some, some good advice. It's Get hard. Get some positive energy for your Monday. Exactly. So that's your morning group. Yes. Thanks for watching.